In this video I'll show you why watching the Squid Game from the Netflix series will break your blood sugar, and at the end, I'll leave a video with the story of a man who was in a diabetic coma and almost amputated one of his legs and now has sugar in his fully controlled blood using a simple and inexpensive ancient technique that you can put into practice today. Welcome to the Reverse Diabetes channel. My name is Mr. Nogsta and it's a pleasure to have you here with me. On September 17, 2021, Netflix's Squid Game series was released. Squid Game is a South Korean survival drama television series created by Hwang Dong-hyuk for Netflix. The series revolves around a contest in which 456 players, drawn from different walks of life, but each one is in deep debt, play a series of children's games for the chance to win at a $38.7 million prize, with a deadly penalty if they lose. Since it was released, the series has quickly spread all over the world, even if you don't know it yet, and have younger people around you can ask them why they will. But, why watching the Squid Game series is going to run your blood sugar out of control? In a study published in 2015 in Diabetologia Journal, they concluded that the risk of developing type 2 diabetes increases by 3.4% for every hour spent in front of the television, and this includes cell phones, tablets and computers. You must have already started to understand the size of the problem, right? Yet, in addition to all the sedentary lifestyle when we binge TV, we also have junk food, because I don't know you, but me, when I'm watching something I really like, I want to eat everything but healthy things, and we still have all the emotion that can release cortisol into your bloodstream and mess up your blood sugar while you watch a series as immersive as Squid Game. The story of the series is about people mired in debt who are invited to play a game in exchange for money, something that many people around the world are going through at this pandemic moment. Unlike the show, I'm not going to make you a deadly game for money. I want to politely ask you to like, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell and tell me in the comments how many episodes of Squid Game have you seen. But come on, keep going. Imagine how many people in this same situation are in this moment. Imagine the connection of real people with the stories of the people present in the series. It transports us to this reality, if we can call it that, and it gets us involved in such a way that as people die and suffer during the Squid Game series, our blood sugar levels fluctuate out of control. And this doesn't just happen with Squid Game. Every time we binge TV, eat a lot of junk food and get involved at a very deep level with the TV show or show, our emotions, feelings, sleep quality, stress, and even blood sugar change. That's why you should be careful about becoming addicted to unconstructive habits like the ones I just mentioned. All these bad habits will take you where you don't want to, medication, stress, obesity, depression, and in the case of uncontrolled blood sugar, diabetes and consequences such as amputations can be fatal. However, instead of showing you only the bad things that Squid Game and other series can do to you, I have to give you a way out, right? So, instead of binge TV during all weekend or every night, what is much better for you and much more constructive is taking a walk, talking to the people you love, with your friends. If you have a pet, spend more time with him, take him for a walk with you, and do activities like meditation and yoga to clear his mind, as a result your stress will decrease and your blood sugar control will greatly improve. Also remember to take breaks. Instead of binge TV, set limits. For each episode, taking 15-minute breaks and doing other activities will do you very well, believe me, because in the end what counts is the quality of life, preferably with well-controlled blood sugar. And now I'm going to show you the video of that man who was in a diabetic coma and almost amputating one of his legs, and now has his blood sugar fully controlled using a simple and inexpensive ancient technique that you can put into practice today. I'm afraid he's in a severe diabetic coma, ma'am. His blood sugar level was through the roof. We're doing all we can. Please, Dr. Howard, help him. Unfortunately, there's something else, ma'am. We'll need to amputate his leg today. No! To see the full video, access the first link in the description. And if you want to know what the 13 most common signs of high blood sugar are, check out this video I'm showing you. Don't forget to like, tell me in the comments how many Squid Game episodes you've seen, Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends who love Squid Game OK. God bless you. Bye bye.